Assalamu alaikum students uh, there is one topic remaining but before starting that one topic relating with the oxidation reaction with the fatty acid i would like to share my thoughts about the recent disaster of corona so all of you uh, being the health professional uh, people you must need to uh, give awareness to your family and nearby people uh, let them tell the importance of uh, social dissociation it is utmost uh, necessary at right now because we don't have treatment we don't have vaccine and nothing is in our hand the only thing which we can do is to separate and keep us isolate from others inshallah when things will be normalized inshallah with the prayer of all of us all the hum- for the humanity then we will meet again inshallah so i am starting with omega oxidation of fatty acid so i am starting with omega oxidation of fatty acid uh, that will occur in the endoplasmic reticulum this type of fatty acid oxidation occur in the endoplasmic reticulum of uh, two organ one is liver another one is kidney why because both these organ containing special type of enzymes and these enzymes are participating in the omega oxidation <coughs> there is first of all oxidation at the terminal end which is omega methyl group and once the oxidation will take place at the omega methyl group it will be converted into omega hydroxy fatty acid then followed by the oxidation of Uh, omega hydroxy fatty acid ch2oh first it is converted to aldehyde and then it is converted to cooh so there are three reactions which are occurring at the omega end first is the synthesis of omega hydroxy fatty acid then it will be converted into <clears throat> aldehyde and finally the terminal end will be converted into cooh group these three reactions are catalyzed by a special type of mix function oxidase which we uh, discussed during the class and i told you when we were discussing uh, different aspects of fatty acids that there is an enzyme system which is located in the liver as well as in the kidney and these uh, system of different mix function oxidase is termed as cytochrome p450 so these special type of enzymes as well as nadph2 which is required to catalyze this reaction the other enzymes which are taking part in the omega oxidation including alcohol dehydrogenase and aldehyde dehydrogenase the fatty acids which will be synthesized during the oxidation process it is having now carboxylic group on both the end so beta oxidation can occur on both the side after this molecule of fatty acid entered the mitochondria but keep remember if you recall the previous lectures i told you that oxidation for the oxidation the fatty acid must be converted 
first into its CoA derivative. So the same thing will occur in the omega oxidation once the two sided carboxylic containing fatty acids are synthesized then they will enter in the mitochondria once they are converted into CoA derivative. Beta oxidation may not be complete and dicarboxylic acid for example succinic acid which is containing two carboxylic group and in the middle I'm, I'm just uh, letting you know the sequence first carboxylic acid that is COOH then uh, in the center there is methyl group which is uh, containing two methyl group that is CH2 and then in the parenthesis there is again double CH2 and then COOH so succinic acid so succinic acid and another um, betox uh, another fatty acid which is containing uh, two side carboxylic acid is the adipic acid ADIPIC adipic acid so uh, once the carboxylic dicarboxylic acid that is synthesized or that is entered and undergoes into beta oxidation the beta oxidation may not be completed until succinic acid and adipic acid may be released during this reaction in human omega oxidation normally occur to very small extent so the important are beta oxidation omega oxidation is basically occurring but just to convert the molecule uh, in such form that it will continue with the beta oxidation thank you so much in the next lecture i will let you uh, we will discuss something else that is relating with the components of fatty acids